Judge. I'm Don Marina. I'm what you call a turncoat, a stool pigeon. And I'm gonna sing, gonna get even with those who've done me wrong. Now I'm collaborating with the law. You see, I'm here, Judge. So I'm gonna give you answers to your questions. Yeah, because I want to give you every satisfaction. But then I expect you to keep your word, right, Judge? Now, please, what, what do these bracelets here mean? You expect me to run away? No, I'm collaborating with the state, and I'm keeping my word if you keep yours. You know, a gentleman's agreement, right? The cuffs. Good morning, Judge. All right, buddy, now tell me all. Mm -hmm. All I know. Fiorina. Now, just listen close. To begin with, who killed those bastards, Serbinotti and Corradi? Yours truly, all along. By order of that Scalia. Three bullets right in the middle of the head. One, two, three, with blood running all over their friggin' faces. <laughs> You understand how many times do I have to tell you judge I don't know maybe we don't speak the same language right is that it it was Camilla Murgio who gave us his guarantee Murgio and Torrisi Murgio in Palermo and Torrisi in Lecce a part of the sacred crime united and those two always obey every order they get from Scalia in my town, there's an orange grove that surrounds a house. An orange grove? Since I was a kid, I loved that orange odor. Where are you from, Nino? Calabria. Ah, so you're Calabrese. Say, 50%. My father's Calabrese, my mother Napolitana. So am I Neapolitan. Napolitan? Yeah, but from a province. I'm from Castellamare di Stabia. Huh. Did you know Castellamare? Uh, I was in the service there for a while. I remember it was a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. You ought to go back there sometime. You should know how it feels to gather oranges during this season now. Oranges? Yeah. So large, almost like melons. And boy, are they sweet and juicy. I used to make orange juice, and boy, was it good. The best of fruit. I mean, like when you peel it, the aroma is Italy's priceless gold. I like orange perfume. That sweet perfume. Nothing better, you know? No better, no better. I smell the aroma. <laughs> Bet you think Calabrese oranges are better than ours. No, I didn't say that. Heck no. You see, I'm thinking of oranges cause, because because today they gave me a pass. Ah. Three long days to be back home again with Mother, to be in peace on my land. Oranges, olives, that's where I was born. So you're leaving today. Boy, you lucky. I've been waiting for months to get my leave to go home. Yeah, that's how it is. Nino Di Venanzio. That's me. Come on, the chief wants you, it's urgent. No, wait, look, in just about one hour I'll be going on leave. There's a mistake. I don't know, come on, it's important. Come on now. See you, Salviati. See ya. Well, there goes my leave. Yeah. <laughs> right, what's your step? Mama. The Chronicle. Bye oh, now. thanks. Can I get you a drink, Ma? No, thanks. I think it looks better, better than the other one, you know? What? The uniform. It's a more elegant with a white belt. The belt. Gotta better. go now, okay? Listen, Mama, Goodbye, tell sweetheart. Papa... Take care. ...that I do expect his call, okay? Yes, I will. Take care of yourself. Remember, dear. See ya. Ciao. See ya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Scalia's a colonese. He began as a bodyguard for Navarra. But before long, he got involved with the Pugliese, the Sacred Crown United. You won't get him to talk, Judge. He won't speak. Not a chance. And me? I'm finished. Kaput. My coffin is ready. A plane intersecting a solid determines in it a section plane. Plane. You may distinguish two cases. A. The plane that's sectioned doesn't pass the polygonal base of the solid. B. The plane that's sectioned passes the polygonal base of the solid. Seems to be clear, no? Don't pass, it passes. The intersection of a plane Stop it. 
with a pyramid erected on a base that's squared, that's completely resulting. Hey, Peter, I got a study today! I heard you. A base square. Oh, shut up your ass. My poor wife, what I think. They murdered her. Murdered her with an axe. Freaking rotten bastards, dirty swine, think they'll get away with it. But they're not gonna. I'm gonna get even now, Judge. I'm with you. Hello, Felicia. How come you're not in civvies? Because I'm on duty today, in half an hour. Uh, and Mom, how is she? Huh. In pain, worries, trouble. In pain, huh? In pain for me, huh? Or for you? For me and you. Take these. Uh, she made these today. Cookies, I think. Ah, the super's allowing this, huh? Against regulations, no? I see. They don't control you, huh? Felicia, they trust me after all. Yeah, because they know that you would never let escape a criminal like me, the brother that you love, huh? Listen to me, big shitheel. You were given work in an office. In jail, you'll wound up on your own. Who made you do it, for God's sake? It was destiny, Sorrow. You were born the saint, Sorrow. All the devil is your brother. And with this, you can go, <laughs> asshole. Got no respect for no one, do you? Your mother made these cookies. She made them for you. Yeah, you're making me hate you. Despise you! Ah, because you're a cop now, you want to give me lessons on how to live in respect. Well, I'm the one who ought to get respect now. You know, I'm the one who worked for all of you, you see. Thanks to me, the family could live now in dignity. This uniform you got because I let you finish your studies. But stay on the alert, Sorrow. Listen to what this devil brother is telling you. Because that pistol you've got there without this devil near you might have fired in the wrong place. You understand me, kid? This, that money. You probably stole it, right? It was dirty, so we didn't touch it. It's all still there in a package. And the minute they let you out of here, that money I'll throw into your face. Because Mama worked hard for us just like a slave, but now it's only me that's supporting her, understand? So you know what you can do with it? You and your money. Hey, Sarah, do me a favor, will you? I don't want your visits anymore. Open the door. It's all over. Nothing more to say here. <laughs> no, Judge. No, you can't do it. You won't trap this fox, Judge. I don't figure it all in this. Scalia don't worry about my words, Judge. He pisses on me. <laughs> Magic in my feet. Magical gold, man. Did you see that magic? No, right go. in the neck. It's not fair. I saw you fiddling around with that ball just like the Romans do. Referee! Bullshitting. That was a classical diagonal, Alfonseca. Fonseca. It's no good without regulations here, Roman in Sicily. Right, it's it's smart, mafia, it's right. mafia controlling our game, referee. Attention, please. Urgent telephone call from police headquarters for Tarcisio Proietti. There's only one man who can help you catch Scalia. But now I won't tell you no more until you come through with a written guarantee, Judge. Protection. Especially for that poor family of mine, Judge. I want protection, that's all. But, Judge, if you fool around, I'll retract all I told you. His name is... Turi Arcangelo Leofonte. He was an accountant. I suppose his name doesn't say anything to you, and that's because... because he's no fool, because he uses his head. Keeps his mouth shut, never asks for favors. In the winter, he stays in this villa on the hill near Palermo. <laughs> in the winter. <laughs> Turi Leofonte hibernates like some animals do. Like cockroaches and rats. He just disappears. Nobody knows why. Ten years ago, he handled the whole administration of Terranova in Puglia. He was appreciated so much for his great talents that Scalia got him transferred to Palermo where he took care of all his business. The best bookkeeper Scalia ever had. In the Mafia, they call him the computer, yeah. Because Turi Leofonte keeps everything in his memory, Judge. All the numbers and codes, 
of all the bank accounts of Scalia and all the other bosses. He married late in life to Franca Gravina, the niece of Cangemi. They call her the most beautiful woman in Sicily. She had two children with Leofonte, a boy, Nicola, four years old, and a 17-year-old girl, Chiara, yeah. Leofonte lives only for his family. They don't need anything. He sees to that. Dury's a big shot. He's got plenty of dough, navigates in gold. Jerks like me get peanuts. And the fat of the land they live on, yeah. Excuse me, Judge, but in life you're either a count or, or you're just a shit. Now we'll see who the shits really are. Continue. Turi Leofonte knows all the accounts and secrets of Scalia. Those funds he cashes that are all red, blood-stained accounts. He knows the names of all the big shots in Milano that at night they put on their most expensive attire to go to the theater at La Scala. You late, set, you know? But in the morning for these pigs, the mafia fills up their pockets with loads of money. Turi has it all recorded in his head, Judge. Here in his head, and if you shake it real hard, real hard, you understand the saving container is gonna break. It will amaze you to hear the floor names that come out of that head. Lots, I tell you. Open it, and the fifth will come out, the mud and shit. No, Tori's gonna finish in the mud and shit. He'll finish, but good, with the rest of those big ones. I told you all I know, Judge. Da, 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 da. We gotta hurry up, it's late. Da, 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 da. Ah, there you are. Always late, right? Hi, Chirazo. Tell me, where's the reunion? Where's the reunion? In the reunion hall. No, don't call me, sir. Don't be so friendly with your superior. Run. I'm sorry, superior, so I'll run, sir. See, I'm running. Come in. Ah. Proietti. At your orders, signore. <laughs> Drop the signore. Sit with the others. Yes, signore. Do you know each other? Who doesn't know the magic goal? The best kicker in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring the book, the algebra? God, no. I begged you to bring it. You're supposed to be a friend of mine. Okay, now that you're all here, I'll go over it again. And pay attention, Proietti. The operation consists of picking up our man together with his family. They're to be, uh, they're to be escorted to the airport at Punta Raisi. You got it? Okay. As far as I know, none of you has ever been on escort duty, right? No. Well, if you don't know what to do, you'll have to get your orders from me. You'll obey my orders, and no one is to have any personal ideas. Clear? Clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And don't worry, okay? It's nothing exceptionally hard. Normal administration. No more than a few hours and we return to headquarters. Cappuccino, brioche, and a nice premium. Guaranteed passes for all. So be ready. We leave in 10 minutes. Is this an important guy? An accountant. An accountant?
Sergeant. Are you Senora Leo Ponce? Yes. We're the police. Where's your husband? Tell me, how did you get in here? This is an outrage. Rieti, Matteotti, and Berek upstairs. Terenzi, Dineo, and Ligresti, check down here. Stay calm, Senora. Here's our search warrant. Don't tell me to stay calm. To stop these people immediately. I intend to speak to your husband immediately, Senora Leo Ponce. Would you please tell me where he is? What is all this? Tutti, this is an abuse. What do these men want? Better go upstairs with Nicola. Go on, put him to bed. Signor Turi Leofonte. Warrant from Milano. But you haven't stopped to fight my child. First, I want to speak to you in private. Follow me into the studio. Degresti. What do you want, Mommy? They all they work for Papa. Go to sleep now. Give Mommy a kiss. Hmm? A diary. Proietti, the search is over for now. Come on. Nino gave the order. Let's go. Hmm. You're a shit if you read this. Chiara. Hmm. Gee. The warrants a mandate to appear today before the magistrate Judge Laurenti. And please read the uh, Enumerated conditions in your favor offered by the judge for your whole family if you decide to collaborate with justice as prime witness against Scalia. The prosecutor is interviewing witnesses in Milan right now. You'll see that warrant also bears the signature of Judge Laurenti. I would adhere voluntarily, but it's evident equivocal. You've mistaken the person. Yes, I do work for many concerns, that's true, of course. Uh, but as for your Scalia, never heard him, I assure you. So then you'll come with me to headquarters. It'll all get cleared up there. I won't move out of here if I don't speak to my lawyer, my friend. Not bad. The number of your lawyer Marconi's in the memory. Press it, just press the button there. And you are? My name's Nino Vinancio. If you sign the warrant I've given you, it'll signify you decided to collaborate. And then? You're to testify at the Scalia trial in Milano, personally presided by Judge Laurenti. You must appear in court tomorrow morning with me. Why so fast? Does he frighten you so much, this Scalia? The pigeon that gave us his name. His whole family is exterminated, ordered by Scalia. And his name? You're not uh, making it encouraging. It's not my job, after all. Maybe it worries you that you're going tonight to the Scalia trial, but I assure you, you'll have an armed police escort to the airport. So you'll be going to Milano with me, and your family safely brought to another destination, I assure you. Till it's all over. You'll have to tell me all if you expect me to go just like that. You've got to decide now. All right. What have you decided? There's a problem to resolve.
Papa, you even promised to let me spend three weeks here. I must leave tonight. What for, for God's sake? How come? You're leaving, you said? I know. You, you can't speak now. You can't speak now. It's so important, Papa. You must go. Papa, don't go. Hey, what is it, Kiara? You got a problem? My painter. It's her father. He succeeds in spoiling my party today. Signore, it's your authority called. Today, I don't want to speak to anyone. I already told you. Here's twenty thousand dollars and a few traveler's checks. And here are the code numbers for the transfer of those two bank accounts. Use these only if I ask you to. You'll be all right. Don't worry for anything. And remember, don't telephone anybody, no one. Franca, please, you listening? Do your solemn instructions, Judy. The preparations for our departures, yes. How often I've had to live through all this before. How often in my dreams I saw the faces of those people staring at us. Those that at one time admired, looked up to us, respected us too. And now I'm sure those very people will express all, all their contempt and all their scorn. It's a malediction of those that died, murdered, assassinated because of us. What in the hell are you saying? We've got nothing to do with it. Franca, please, you mustn't think about it. Now you just try to calm down. No, you're guilty. Who am I even more than you, Tori? Because I knew what was going on. I never did a thing. I could have stopped it. Now we'll have to pay. I'm sure about it. The Lord has surely judged us. And now he's punishing us and our children, all of us. That's enough, Franca. Well, you must think of our children. They call it Kara. You hear me? Pretty dark here in Sicily. Well, we're in the country and it's the middle of the night. Hey, did you see the villa the accountant has? Yeah. Sure, that cost him about a billion lira, no mistake about it. What do you think? Yeah, a month. You mean he rents the villa? Why well, rents? Tarchisio, I think I'm making a bad choice in life. Why? It's simple. Because he, an accountant, owns a villa worth billions while I study to be a geometer. And so? One day you'll have a villa. You'll construct it, too. Yeah, it was spit. Mom, mommy, how negative you are. Really negative. They chose us to escort him because we're the best. How about it? Best. We're available, that's all. It's simple. You better think of just being a plain cop. You better think of your exams. Let's go. Go. 43 squared minus 10 squared. A uh, rumba. Come on. Yeah, come on. 43, that's squared. Minus 10 squared. Yeah, but you have to step on it. I, I gotta concentrate on the road. It's difficult driving, you know? Oh, boy, you're such a pain. Let's go, then. Begin. Your own words. My words. I open a circle. Yeah. All right, close the square. Mm -hmm. Graph is there. It's not there. What do you mean it's, it's not? It's not there. It's impossible. It's possible because there's no damn square and no damn circle. You mean I invented it all, playing around? Yes, because you're not serious. You don't study. Before you come to me and expect me to listen, you ought to study. You don't bring the textbook to me. I tell me how I can study now. Be considerate and constructive. Instead of criticizing, tell me my mistakes. I tell you all your mistakes? The equation and the street. The street too is a mistake. No, no, it's not. This is it. Villa Florio. Yeah. Yeah. It's Villa Florio. Villa Florio. We're in Villa Florio. Tarcisio. Hey. Look at me. Don't forget the orders of Divinancio. The 
girl should never suspect we're cops. Why? Have I got it written all over that I'm in the police force? That's not funny. I saw her photo. She's nice. I'm seeing how I look in the mirror, no? You're not on a make for her. Forget her. You gotta act serious and professional. Be courteous. Chiara Leofonte? Who else? Tartizio Prieti. It's a pleasure. And I have to carry a bag, too. Remo! How do you do, Remo Matillon? A pleasure. Hot coffee? No, thank you. I'm sorry about your festa. The festa was annoying after all. I'm glad we didn't spoil your night. <laughs> you're on the police duty, right? Police duty? No. It's written all over your faces that you're of the police. It's clear. Of Prieti, I'm sure. Not bad. Let's move on. Better say your goodbyes here. At the airport, you won't get the time or the possibility. I promise to call if possible. Be sure to tell Kiara, explain things. Especially that I love her very much. I know what I have to say. Do you, darling? Come, it's late. Daughter, is it much further? It's an IP gas station. It's about 20 minutes down the road. Beautiful boy, Signora. I won't see. Oh, beloved city of Palermo. Right? This is the last time.
You know, about an hour late now. Now, how'd you expect her to hear? She got the music on full volume. Now, take it easy. They'll come soon. Calm down. Better call him on the radio. You heard what he said, no? Nino? I'd send a message by radio. It could be dangerous. <laughs> Gangsters, assassins, fucking murdering shits! <coughs> Give an answer. Give an answer, man. I call our commander at the Centrale. No. Don't they have to know? I told you no, and that's all. But you know I have to tell. You have to obey my orders. And I felt it was my duty to... Damn the Centrale! I don't give a frig of the Centrale. They don't give a shit about us. Don't you understand that, Jess? They shoved it up our asshole real good. No help, we're alone. Oh, my God. Stop the car. He's really sick. Better stop the car as soon as possible. What is it? How do you feel? Some water, please. I have to drink. The thermos over there. Get it. Feel better? Feel better. It'll pass. Get rid of the light, will you? Keep me covered. Hello? Hello, oh, Jesus Renti. Nino de Venantio. You heard of that massacre we just had, right? Yes, uh, they just told me. Now I don't know what to do anymore. I spoke to the head of security at Palermo. They said they're ready to intervene. Where are you now? Oh, shit. Man, you realize what you're saying? You're joking. Calm yourself, Divinancio, and I'll make believe I didn't hear what you said. There's nothing that will calm me. The Leo Fontesco was to be a cinch, a walk, nothing else. It was a fucking massacre, I tell you. Two, two of our escort were murdered. I'd like to know who the fuck approved it, huh? And who the fuck bastard really is this Leo Fonte? I'm disappointed, Judge, you know that? I don't believe no one. I don't believe no more. Divinancio, what do you propose to do with Leo Fonte? Take him to Milano, like you asked for us to do. Now listen to me, please. Last night there was an inferno. They killed 13 stool pigeons. Damn it. Calm down! Calm down! What's going on here? Like the here. Who? Who did it? How did it happen? I don't know, Arden. It's Marina. The pigeon that gave us the name of Leofonte. So now only Leofonte could accuse that Scalier. But this time for Turia Leofonte, there's nobody that could accuse him. And I refuse to speak. Now you can understand the other turncoats are scared to speak. There's no turning back, you see that? 
I have to continue, but with my methods. Yes, I understand. But you'll need professionals. Tell me where and when. No, I'll go it alone. You may have to replace me. Only God knows. Goodbye, Judge. I'm famished. I'll go to the bar. No, Signorina, no. See what she wants. Go get him. Bring it here. Sure. I'd love to go, though. Can I go to the bar, Signorina of the police, huh? Or am I considered under arrest? All right. Make it quick. Thanks. Juan, I have to go? All right, I'll oh. go. Eyes open, mouth closed. All right. Tarchizio, no yapping. Huh? I don't speak to her. Uh. Put it back. You swiped it. Well, it's none of your business, nosy body. Have me arrested. Let's see. Arrest me now. A slice of pizza, please. Shall I eat it for you? Yes, thanks. I want to pay for it. <laughs> but I don't know your name, you know. How come? I told you. Well, tell me now. Prieti, Tarchisio Prieti. Your name? Tarchisio. <laughs> Tarchisio. Yeah. Tarchisio. What kind of a name is it, Tarchisio? <laughs> it's commonly known. In Rome, but it's known. In Rome, huh? In Rome, yeah. Listen, Tarchisio. Tell me. You seem different than your colleague, though. The one outside, the no-cop, you know. Please tell me what's going on. Going on? What's happening to my family? Nothing. What are they doing? Nothing. All I know, your father's concluding an urgent matter. Ah. That's all. Nothing serious. Your father wants you to travel with us. And that's it. Pizza's ready. Yeah. Thanks. I pay for the pizza and, uh... And? And that's it. <laughs> 3,000, please. Falco, Ulysses here. Falco, listening to you. Yeah, uh, can you talk? Yeah, the girl's with our colleague in a bar. All right, turn back towards the state road to Messina. Drive slow and act like nothing happened. I'll meet up with you. And stay on the alert, because there are problems. Understand? You bet. Where are you going? Please come with me. Things are happening. That's what happened up to now, and it's serious. We must beat them with time. We've got to drive like mad and no stopping at all. And exclude all communications via radio or telephone. Get it? We exist no more for anyone. My father's under arrest, no? Where are you planning on taking us? No, he's not under arrest. You... How old are you? Not 18 yet. That's it. Make sure you're minor. That's not an answer. It is. By law, you... You see, only a parent can decide what to do for you in this case. So you have to go where he wants. Tell me, what's he guilty of? We must obey only our orders. You'll travel with us. When we arrive at our destination, your father will talk to the judge and we'll all get cleared up. Guys, I'm sorry I got you into this operation. I picked you for it. Well, instead, I'm glad you picked me. Look, Resty, now you gotta be calm like all the others. I ought to be calm, I know. Yeah, I know. Because I reason with balls, not my head, I know that. But you can count on me. And I saw you shooting this morning. You got balls, too, and boy, you got them big. But by God, you can count on me, see? I ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah, but that's not it. There's times when you have to be dead in control when playing with one of these. My mother, my brother, how come they're not here with us? They were taken where it's safe, rest assured. Where are they then? What are they safe from? We have to protect you and your father. That's our mission. Tell me the truth, I beg you, please. I must know the truth. Why is it difficult? Why doesn't he tell me all of these things?
Kara. Now tell me what's happening to us both. And where are these people taking you? And they have to protect me, they say. Come on back. Are you sick? Stop the car. We can't. Stop the car, for God's sake! Not if you don't tell me the reason to. I feel bad, please. On this side. never to stop. Have my daughter come over here. You better tell me what for. I have to speak with her. And what do you want to say to her? Things that concern us. Right now, what concerns Leofonte concerns me, too. I have the right to explain to my daughter all that occurred. I'm sorry, but we've got too many problems. But for me, I don't give a damn for your problems. I have to talk to my daughter right now. I must. Falco, Ulysses. I hear you, Ulysses. Go ahead, drive slowly. I'll catch up to you. Gotcha. He made a stop here. Mm hmm But why do you think? I don't know. The boss, huh? Big. Bravo. But you know how to handle yourself. Now then, where do you plan to take my daughter from here? She should be brought only where it's safe and secure. There isn't a place that's secure. These cops of yours are dilettantes. I'm sure you realize Dilettantes, your ass. Steven you must we be quiet and listen to him gassing away like this much longer? They're risking themselves, their lives, these men. Can't that be enough for you? You should appreciate what they do. No, they're incompetent! Big shit dog! Resty, stop! I call the dilettantes who are murdered because of you to protect you, bastard! Resty, stop it, I said! Have you any idea what happens to a swordfish when captured in a tuna fish net? It splashes, fights, and struggles against a tuna around it before it gives up and dies. Well, there's a big swordfish that went into a certain superior of yours to pay a sort of visit, you understand? Well, that swordfish is Scalia, and I'm the net. He's going to be trapped in, and you... And we will be the tuna. Yes, the tuna that's going to surround him. I don't want my daughter to be involved and get caught in this net. Look here, no one wants that. I've got enough of this. You're breaking our balls, you better cut it out. Stephen Hansen, you'll make him shut up! Off your chest now? You've been betrayed. They've sent you on purpose with these four inexperienced kids. Alone. They're expendable. Who do you think you are? You're just a shit. That's all you are! Cut it out! If you don't accept my conditions, take my daughter to a place where it's safe and secure. When in Milan, I won't talk, I won't speak, not a word, nothing. Not a syllable, that's all. Ulysses Falco here. Tell me. Looks like a police block. Around 100 meters from here. Three men in uniform. Armed. If you get a signal to stop, don't. And if they fire? You pick up speed and fire back. Could be phonies. I'll get back on this road further down. Good luck. I hope so. Means we have to fire? We have to fire, we have to, no? Must get my gun too? Have your gun ready and open the window. My god, but what if they're not fakes, these guys? Well, if they're not fakes, we better get ready. Or they'll shoot us. 
Oh my God, Rainbow, you know I never shot anyone in my life. I don't think I can. Take it easy, calm down. They didn't raise the pallet yet. Don't raise that pallet. Stay calm, take a deep breath and stay calm. Tell me when they raise it. Did they, huh? Falco. Yeah. We did it. Good. We're almost back on your road. We'll pick you up. Yes, sir. Wasn't my father's car just behind us? You're not resting, senorina. Weren't you sleeping? I'd rather speak to you now. You two are inseparable, is that it? Same as in the films in America. You mean us two? Not a chance in hell. Seems that us two just grew up together, that's all, and hobnobbed frequently in the same bar. And used to have lots of fun at her gym. That's not exactly it, senorita, because he always came after me to play soccer. But he followed me everywhere, but I mean all over. Imagine. What caliber is your gun? Let me see it. How do you fire it? Present me to your sister. Fix me a date with your sister. You're not telling these things to the senorina. How come? Well, things couldn't interest the senorina. And he said that he'd marry her, too. Like hell. This much longer, we would have been forever brother-in-laws. Boy, I don't even want to think about it, senorina. Signorina, signorina, you may call me Chiara. Perfect, your name is Chiara. And you gotta show respect for her, Tarchisio, because you're still a recruit. In fact, you still don't know when to open your mouth and when to shut it. But the second would be the better choice. So I followed him all these years, even all the way down to Palermo. And I have to give him private lessons. How about that? You mean after you become a cop, they make you study? If you want to become an officer and pass the grade. You want to be an officer just to get all the rookies to snap to attention, that right? I have to because of my family. You know it, admit it. Then you're married. Yeah. Do you have any children? Two. Two small kids, but they got mouths as big as this steering wheel. <laughs> they like abundant meals, just like Papa. <laughs> well, with what I take home now, it's tough to make it with my mother-in-law living with us. Ah, go on. Tell the truth, Ram, about your mother-in-law, because you're giving Kara the wrong impression, because she helps pay your rent. That's not bad. Because yours is a real family and honest. Outside for a minute. Stay alert. Going by. I'm a farmer. How the crops is here? You're a farmer? Yeah, the olives? Our olives. Uh, the yield is small. You mean it? I'm surprised. The weather's been real good. Over here, the zinnia are really small. You're right, it is. Oranges are really good, because we had a good crop. Do you have any here? I don't see any around. Down the road, a couple of kilometers. Don't move it! If you move, I swear I'll kill you! What the fuck are you doing? Shut up or I'll pull the trigger! Get out with me, I've got you covered. Fast! <clears throat> Turn 
around face the car and turn around, I said. You fired me, you bastard. Because this is the moment I've been waiting for, you bastard! Put that I gun. Put that I gun, you imbecile! Yeah, put it down. Son of a bitch, you got balls? Then shoot, you bastard! Put that gun down! You put yours down, you hear me? Listen to me, because you're witness to what I'm going to tell you. I, Turi Leofonti, as of today, no longer belong to the Scalia family, and I damn him, yes! I damn him now, and his favorite son, Tano. I spit on his whole rotten family. Stop where you are. Stop where I'll kill her. I'll have the blood of the Scalias. Not one will survive and live. Every single one, even the fathers and mothers, and their descendants will not exist. I swear I will save only those who didn't take part in the massacre of the ones I held so close to my heart. I swear before God and the souls of my wife and my son. Who are you? Hello? Who are you? Tell us. What's his name? Tell us! Zero nine one twenty five three zero one. Speak after the tone. Who was it you were calling? How much more blood will be spilled? Get in the car. Let her go. <laughs> Give me the gun. Get back in the car. Come on, get in. Get back in the car, damn it, and go! Hello? It's me. Where are you, Divinancio? Just entering Puglia. No problem? No. Now listen carefully. You're to take State Road 25 for Bari. Go to Costa Merlata to a restaurant called Santa Lucia. There'll be a table reserved for you. And a man I'm sending there to meet you. Who is he? Zancardi. You don't know him, but you can trust him. Zancardi was my private escort in Bari. I suggest you send your escorts back to Palermo. While you and Zancardi are to go straight to Milano with Leofonte and his daughter. Sorry to keep you waiting. The Wendy Festa is keeping us busy. Antipasso plate, it'll be all right then? Fine, okay, thanks. Why don't you speak? Don't tell me you've nothing to say. Take care of Nicola, don't irritate your mother. Why don't you study? Didn't I send you to a good school, huh? Perhaps I could study in the bunker where they'll shut me up soon, no? You vision too much with fantasy, signorina. Fantasy? What happens to the families of the stool pigeons? No one ever talks about them. Because you are a stool pigeon after all. And now what could I look forward to? Kiara, I know you're confused. You're upset, but you're wrong about me, though. Wrong about you? Then who were those scavengers? Those important individuals you received in your office who looked like bosses, huh? That more than scared look in Mama's eyes when she answered the telephone. Signori, you're antipasti. I just don't know what to say. My father and mafioso. Oh, my lord, you who gets moved when you see a dog abandoned in the gutter. Kara, listen to me, please. My God, I've never in my life killed anyone. The charges against me are all still to be proven. You've always brainwashed me with words. Our respectability, our family, our honor. I only frequented those kids that you had chosen to have me meet. The rich, those worth knowing, the beautiful Sicily. Do you want me to tell you the results now? My name is not Chiara anymore. They call me Chiarella, the Caramella. She gives up to you for a Caramella. One that simple pickings, now she's here, then passes there. Oh, 
Oh, they knew. I'm sure they knew what we were made of, and so do we. You're an important mafioso. And I'm the most respectable whore in Sicily, you know? I'm a slut. I'm a slut! Thanks, Dad. Chiara. figured we could go to the very end with you. I'm sorry about it, honest. Believe me, I really am. What did you lose? Your gun? Telephone. I in my car. I'll go. I'll go get it. No, no, no. Hurry, let me. Are you glad now, Leo Fonte? The tuners are leaving the job to the professions. Notice it much? Let me see. No, just a minute. We'll put some powder on it, and it'll be gone. Let's see. So you don't only carry a pistol? No. When we're not on duty, I even put on a miniskirt. Santalia. Yeah, it's looking for us. Matteo, you're Di Venanzio and I you. Clear? Yeah. Divinancio? Sure. Tangardi. May I join you? Rest. Are you one of the escorts? Yeah, who are you? Zangardi. We are attacked on our way to you. My colleague's dead. You've been betrayed. You understand? I spoke to Judge Lorenti. No more calls up to Milano. I heard about the tragedy. My respects. Where's your daughter? Must be suffering. She's with our girl escort now. My colleagues outside are a bit nervous. Go and get the girl and let's move out of here. Calm now, what's the problem? But we gotta get out, there's no time. Stay a while, Zangar, you have to rush? All those things I told him, you made it up. I never made love with anyone at all. I know. But it's very true that they speak about me. It's very true what they say behind my back. And now they'll have it all confirmed. Listen, you shouldn't care a thing of what they say. But your life's so livid, it all passes for time. <laughs> exactly. And after who knows, I could even join the police just like you. Yeah, but why not? 
My three. Want to smoke? Sure, Ray. <sighs> not bad. A bit strong, but not bad. Yeah, you're gonna have them. 
What are they doing inside? Nothing. Nobody could sleep. Impossible if you're scared. Have proofs? You're scared you can't sleep, right? I'm scared I get diarrhea. Nothing to be ashamed of. We all get scared. It's quite normal. You two touch easier. It's normal. But with me, Raymond, it's much worse. I tremble. My arms get weak. My legs become like a couple of stiff, long blocks of ice. It's not normal, huh? But it's normal, Tarchisio. It all passes. Yeah, well before it passes, but now it's normal. Raymond, let me ask you a question. Don't begin with your equations. Don't seem like the moment. No, no, this is really serious. All right, ask. Tell me, when you shoot somebody, what do you sense? <laughs> let me tell you. When you hit a bullseye, it's a wow. <laughs> what are you laughing? Certainly, you ask me when you shoot a guy, what you sense. But I asked you, what do you sense and experience when you kill a guy? You just have to experience it. When the time comes, you'll know on your own. Because you've seen films, American gangsters, killings, Miami Vice, adrenaline, fear, heroes, all that crock of shit. I tell you, it's important to know fear. You have to reason things out, never a mistake. But you shouldn't think these things. Remember, you're a cop. You got a job to do. You got to be calm. Understand? Yeah, you're right. Got to stay calm. You're right. Yes, Tarchisio. Be calm and hope we arrive in Milano. I better touch your balls. <laughs> I touch them. <laughs> you touch your balls to wear off the bad luck? You like that spring chicken, huh? Spring chicken? I see how you act every time she's around. But look, you're mistaken, see? Because you're completely wrong. I only try to be gentle and comprehensive. Imagine a parent like that. It must be terrible, poor girl. You like it? You don't have to hide it from me. You're both young, but old enough to become serious about one another, so what's the problem? <laughs> problem. I have to get some coffee. Take my place, kid. Fine, fine. Uh, you're still a kid. Kid. I'm 22. I'm a kid now. Not supposed to. I got a cramp here in my leg only for a minute. You may. But you're to stay in the corridor. Hello. Hello. So many killers, they could fill up the entire state railroad. <laughs> like Alibaba. He's so rich. He could buy anyone. Anyone. Can how? You measure everything with cash, right, Leofonte? What other way is there? It's money, it's gold. They are the motors of the whole world, my son. And the journey we're having. And how much do you think anyone can offer to help you regain the morals you lost? Yeah? You got mad? But ain't you afraid? Well, what is it? It's nothing bad. But ain't you afraid? It's fun, huh? Why you don't like me? You don't like me at all? But no, that's not right. That's not it. Then you got a girl. No. No. You mean a girl that's steady? Fiance? No, there's no steady. 
And so then? And so then. And so then. The situation's bad, Kara. Here, I have to work, you know? We have to be on a train, too. And how about your father, huh? It's not the way I meant it. I meant that he's really your father, too. Huh? It's bad, I know. No, Kara. 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 startled and deeply moved over the massacre of the mother and child and the two police escorts. This is being called the morning of St. Augustine in Italy. Thirteen stool pigeons of the Mafia have been killed. found out. Keep between us, Leofonte. our men were killed. Marika had three children. You know what they'll give his wife now? A big medal and two lira pension. And Maria Pia. Damn it. But boy, my world is full of bad luck. What, is it also my fault that your life is full of bad luck, huh? What am I doing here? I should have stayed away. Fine soccer league I should have joined. I was very good at soccer. But there's one thing I'll do, Chiara. To Milano, you'll arrive. And no one will hurt you, I promise you. I promise you, Kiara. <laughs>
You're an assassin. Will you tell me, please, for what reason you preferred to give my credit card to pay the rent of these here cars? Because your name's a common one. It's better, I thought. Well, why do they get that and we this? Seem right to you? That's right, because they're four, you, me, and her are three. Do you know the cost of that one? Sixty million? Seventeen. Ours, thirteen. So? What's there on the count, you know? I don't know. One million, and that's all I'm worth. That's not so bad. A car drinks. Believe me, more than my Aunt Elvira, and you can believe oh, it. Oh, you know I didn't marry your sister, you no, know? No, tell me. Because she was a ball breaker like you are. Yeah, yeah. Tarchisio. Kenna? Excuse me. Huh? For what? Because I have to tell you, you don't have the face of a cop. You just don't. Hey, guys, you hear me? Yeah? We gotta stop to get some gas. We hear you. Not a signore. We've even Anzio. We've even Nina. Yes, signore. Uh, Nina. I wonder if you might know the provision, the regulations, I mean, concerning certain rules. Like which? I've been thinking I should ask you this thing while you're top kick of our operation. And so I... In the future, remote future, I mean, or much better, the present. Um, that is, I... Hey. Instead of. I... Come to the point. I gotta go to the men's room. Cut it short. Do you suppose I could give my number, the private one, to signorina Chiara Leofonte? I mean, could she phone me? Brietta, it's severely forbidden. Nobody, never. No one is to contact the escort. Brietta, you're not at attention. We must be severe. But I promise you when we get to Milano, we'll settle the matter, all right? Smile. Sure. Fuck up. Uh, thanks, signora. Di Venanzio. He's just a oh. kid. Will you let me go to the toilet? Yeah, sure. You want a Coca-Cola? Paid? <laughs> yes. Thanks. Pleasure. I understand we can't phone, is that it? You got it. Seems right, too. But now, uh, being that my wife is alone, it's two days since we heard each other. If I may give her a telephone call, I'd appreciate it. Matteotti, don't overdo it. Be quick about it. And don't ever make mention of our whereabouts. Perfect. Thanks, senor. Nino. Nino. Francie, will you keep an eye on Chiara for a while? Thanks. How much is it? the thousand. Please give me a receipt for it. Yes, senor. You know, bed yet? Who am I? Only your husband, you know. Thank you. Goodbye. How do you? Listen, Pina, we have to be. No, wait. Pina, I shouldn't even speak to you about where we are. Don't forget. My God, please. Hey, Pina, my God, please. Be. About to hang up, so please, dear. How am I? I'm all right, Amore. Nothing happened to me. I'm already. I want to know how are the bambini. Abina! Pino!
sense and experience. No, please, uh, will you touch it? Better if you don't touch it, Ramo. See it? Kiara, I'm disappointed. It's I wanted to marry Kiara. Disappointed. Hey, Ramo, you were right, I sensed it. I got experience now. Look at the yo. No, 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 I don't think he's gone. No, no, help him, help him. That's it. No. Leo now you see how a common tuna goes. No. Leofonte, the pigeon that gave us your name. His name was Marina. He was stabbed to death in his cell yesterday morning. Now you must decide whether to collaborate with justice or not. I'll give you a few moments to think it over, but I want you to respond sincerely. Terenzi. I speak at the trial in Milano. You tell them everything I know. You're liable to... Liable to... I... I know I blundered. I blundered. I know Chiara all the way through. I know. I know. But... But you should be the one to have to pay. I...
I'm sorry. I stopped because we're trapped in the middle of traffic. You know, in Milano, that's how it is during the carnival. Listen, we better beat it. We mustn't remain here anymore. Come on, let's go. Move it. Let's go. Put on your vests and guns out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On the double. Right, come on, come on. Driver. Vests and guns. I want you to open the door at the center and move it. Leave an answer. Grab this. Yes, sir. Here. Terenzi, you guys, get down here. Come on, come on. Leo Fonte, stay with me. Looks like a police escort. Their badges are visible. Emergency plan. Deviate traffic from center. I repeat, deviate traffic from center. They're entering the arcade. Received. Be there in a minute. Got it. Seated.
Thank you.